I'm back to do the Franco reviews. I'm kind of skipping around. I'm not going to do these Franco films in order. Uh, I mean, there's 200 of them. Um, I'm just going to do the films that I jump around, you know, do an early film, then do whatever else comes into my mind. Um, for some strange reason, what came to my mind uh, the last day was uh, <laughs> Franco's zombie film, Oasis of the Zombies. Um, this is the Redemption release, which is bare bones. It's only got a trailer with it. This film is is just a confusing mess. I mean, let's face it, it's, it's got to be one of his worst, Franco's worst films. I mean, he didn't even put his name on it. He, his, the director is A. Frank. Uh, he's got director credit and, uh, I think, script credit, but he changed the name for both. So, did an alias kind of thing. And it's easy to see why. I mean, I just I don't think he wanted his name attached to this. He Jeff Franco has been rather uh, obvious in his uh, disdain for zombie films and cannibal films, but I think he made you know Devil Hunter and Oasis of Zombies mainly out of being directed and pushed by producers. You know, that's what was selling at the time. So, obviously, he wanted to cash in, but I don't think he did it because he wanted to do it. I think he did it just because someone paid him to do it. And, you know, it's obvious It's a when you watch this film that he, his heart wasn't in it at all. Uh, he just didn't give a shit. I mean, it's obvious. Uh <laughs> It's just a convoluted mess, but it's it's got its, you know, having watched a bunch of Franco films, it's kind of, in a bizarre way, entertaining if you're in the right frame of mind. If you're in this frame of mind of a um, uh, kind of a hypnotic, ambient, um, moody, slow-paced, slow-burn kind of film, you might enjoy this, maybe. But quite honestly, I mean, it's... Along with Zom Rollins' Zombie Lake, it's it's clearly earned its reputation as one of the worst zombie films of all time. Uh, the makeup is awful. The special effects are terrible. <laughs> but it's it's actually entertaining. It's so bad it's entertaining at moments because, like the very first zombie, which gets re he gets repeated. It's a zombie head that gets repeated throughout the film. And I don't know why they did this, because it looks like shit, but the it's a zombie head, and you can clearly see a stick. Just It's a head on a stick, you know? You can see, and they, the, some of the shots that he did of the, the, the zombie head, you know, he'd take it from the mouth up, just above the mouth, because there, were, there was no mouth below, and there, you could see the stick. So obviously he was trying to keep you from seeing the stick, but we, there are scenes where you still see the stick. Um, there's also a hilarious uh, scene where the uh, Nazis, it's only about, I guess let me back up, the storyline is there's there's um, the Nazis in World War II, uh, a, a group of the Nazis, a squadron of the Nazis in North Africa uh, smuggled six million dollars of gold and hid it in the desert, and so now there's a bunch of people that are trying to find the desert, the the gold, traipsing out to the desert, and uh, one by one, of course, they get killed off by the zo Nazi zombies that are protecting this gold. Well, it had this. The thing had a flashback scene where you've got a um, a scene where you've got the Nazis getting fighting your, the Allies. And you got these hilarious scenes where guys are shooting these uh, machine guns like this, uh, and then you got them. You got people flailing in the air when they get shot. Just these acrobatic jumps and flailing in the air. It's it's just hilarious. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, so, I mean, it, you know, there are moments where this where it's just it's entertaining, but um, it's so unlike any of the other Jess Franco films. Um, other than the elements of the, the like I say, the, the, the hypnotic kind of nature 
of the, how he shot this film, which some people would just simply define as boring as shit. Uh, and I, you can, I, clearly you can see it. I can see that. Uh, you know, just again, it's in the, you have to be in the right frame of mind. Frank O definitely has an existential kind of, uh, approach to some of his films that borders on, uh, hypnotic or boring, just depends on your opinion. Uh, and there are elements of this film that, uh, still have the Jake Jess Franco stamp on them. Uh, but, but unfortunately the film fails on two major accounts. One is, uh, you know, horror films, you're looking for one of two things. I would think you're looking for gratuitous sex, nudity, or gratuitous violence and gore. And you, and you don't get any of these. You don't get either of these in this film, uh, which is shocking for a Franco film. I mean, the only real titillation you get is the first scene. You've got two girls in kind of these uh, gym shorts, short shorts walking around, which, which is okay. And you've got some boob shots. I mean, you still got that, but that, that's it. And then from a gore standpoint, there's, I mean, there's not much. It's uh, it's very low budget, no budget. The special features are non-existent. The film is simply going for atmosphere and music. And unfortunately, even the music sucks. The music has this Casio, this one or two beat Casio tune that just keeps going. Boom, 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 it boom, 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 boom. That's it. That's Someone with a Casio decided they learned a couple, one or two notes and repeated it. Now, apparently there was a Spanish version of this film shot like a year later in 1982 that uh, Franco added his his girlfriend, uh, Lena Ramey, and then he redid the music to a much more of an artistic kind of uh existential the type of jazz type music that he was very fond of i've heard i've heard stephen thrower talk that 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 the spanish version of the film is uh much better um this is the french version the redemption feature, features the oasis of the zombies french version uh so yeah anyway it's an 85 minute um trip down a pretty bad zombie film but um, you know, it has, again, it, it's not without some merit, I would say. That will wrap up my Jess Franco review, and I will be back later in the week with, uh, I'm sure, another one. Thanks a bunch.